Hey guys, how's it going? This is Sam in Tarapitak. I'm back again after a while uh, of not having had time to uh, make any videos in quite a few years actually uh, since my last video but now that I'm back uh, I'll try and post more uh, videos more often and today we're actually going to look at a compressor that um, actually when I was thinking of buying this I couldn't find a, a video that was demonstrating um, this compressor so now that I got it myself, I, I thought I'd make a video so that uh, for somebody who is out there that's looking for this compressor and looking for some more information or samples of how this thing sounds, uh, can actually find it. So yeah, we'll have a look at this compressor right now. So I'll start off with um, just mentioning some features here on the compressor. So the company that um, is uh, putting these out is called APA or short for uh, Atlas Pro Audio um, and the model is called Leviathan and it is made in New Zealand by a company called Buzz Audio and so what this fun uh, the compressor has got is it, got up top here it's got um, makeup gain right here and it's got a VU meter of gain reduction only and it's got a variable attack variable release and uh, ratio from 2 to 1 to 20 to 1 and it's got reduction or threshold so you turn it to the right or uh, counter, uh, no, I mean clockwise uh, you get your um, lowering your uh, threshold so you get more compression this way and for the buttons here um, you got your bypass so that's on bypass and it's red and you got your link, if you are two units, then you can link two and having one control or the other as well, or both. Um, and you got your punch, which is basically a sidechain um, EQ, basically lets your uh, bass frequencies through, so you're not compressing, uh, not compressing those frequencies there. So uh, having more low end in your, um, in your signal, but at the same time compressing the, um, the higher up frequencies or the mids and the, the highs. And then you've got, lastly, you've got your vintage um, button here. So what that does is that it um, it bypasses the release and the attack here, the variable release and variable attack. And it's got a fixed, fixed uh, attack and release. So basically you're trying to um, imitate the uh, classic LA-2A sort of style um, fixed uh, you know, release and attack compression. So yeah, we will go through um, a few samples of uh, different sounds. Maybe kick, uh, snare, a bass guitar, acoustic and a vocal. So we'll start off with the, the kick. So I'll play you the uh, unprocessed kick first and I'll play around till um, I get a good sound out of this.
นี่คือความสุขในโลกมนุษย์นี่คือที่สุดยอดปาถนาความสุขใจของคนอยู่ในโลกกาก็คือคำว่าสุขขีสุขขีหอมเย็นนี่คือความสุขในโลกมนุษย์นี่คือที่สุดยอดปาถนาความสุขใจของคนอยู่ในโลกกาก็คือคำว่าสุขขีสุขขีหอมเย็นนี่คือความสุขในโลกมนุษย์นี่คือที่สุดยอดปาถนาความสุขใจของคนอยู่ในโลกกาก็คือคำว่าสุขขีสุขขีหอมเย็นนี่คือความสุขในโลกมนุษย์นี่คือที่สุดยอดปาถนาความสุขใจของคนอยู่ในโลกกาก็คือคำว่าสุขขีสุขขีหอมเย็น All right, guys. So now it's time for me to give my personal opinion about this compressor. I actually love it. Um, that is because I mostly use it for tracking vocals, and so that because it is a clean compressor, it gives me flexibility later on in the mixing stage to have other compressors to be used on the mix, like more uh, colored compressors, for example, um, if I choose to ha uh, do that. Uh, so yeah, basically, you know, you guys, this is made for those of you who are uh, out in searching or looking for in more information about this particular compressor and can't can't find any videos on it because uh, that was the case for me as well. So that's why I'm making this video. Um, anyway, so yeah, don't forget to uh, give me a like and subscribe if you like this video, and comment down below if you have any uh, suggestions or comments about this video or anything else that you want me to cover. Um, and I'll see you guys next video.